I'm Dr. Vanita Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. As you know, I'm a doctor but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of colour. None of my videos have ever been sponsored, none of my videos will ever be sponsored. This is an evidence-based channel so that you can come and see what's worth your money and what you should maybe sidestep. So today's video I wanted to do for a while is basically the best sunscreens available in India on Nykaa.com. I believe Nykaa.com is the primary website for skincare in India. Uh, and so I'm hoping that products on there are easy for you to get hold of and affordable and something that you'd be happy to use daily. Right, so with a sunscreen, there are certain things that I require in terms of my criteria for the ideal sunscreen for skin of color. And the key things I would say to look for is number one, is it NAF safe? Meaning no denatured alcohol, which can dry the skin, no fragrance or essential oils, which lead to contact dermatitis or can sensitize the skin. I don't like any of these ingredients in any of your leave on products for skincare. And in particular, I don't want you to do it when you go outside and your skin is basically being assaulted by UV and by pollution. So I look for NAF safe sunscreens. Number two, I do prefer mineral zinc based sunscreens as opposed to chemical sunscreens for a few reasons. I like that zinc oxide is anti-inflammatory, which is important when our skin is going on, going through environmental assault. Um, and it's also good if you have sensitive skin or you have melasma or any form of hyperpigmentation or acne, you do want anti that anti-inflammatory effect of zinc oxide. In addition, zinc oxide tends to sit on the skin. It doesn't absorb into the blood. Even nano zinc oxide doesn't absorb into the blood versus chemical sunscreens, which do absorb into the blood. They go into your urine, into your breast milk and into um, urine, breast milk and blood. Yeah, <laughs> all three. Um, and so this is why we say during pregnancy to avoid chemical sunscreen to opt for mineral sunscreen but I would take that one step further and say I would opt for mineral for everybody and also for our children um I think our kids get a little bit neglected when it comes to sunscreen uh, we sort of just slap on whatever we have but I I I would rather you chose um, zinc oxide just because it sits on the skin so we call those mineral sunscreens or physical sunscreens Unfortunately, there is sometimes confusion because they can say mineral, but then it could be a mixture. So it's important that you're able to turn over the back of the packaging and see the actual ingredients in your sunscreen. And that's called the inky list. So I always say, if you've watched 10 or more of my videos, I call you a doctor the inky hacker because it means that you're able to read the back of the packaging, you're able to read the ingredients list. Um, you don't fall for marketing because you know what's in the product. You tend to have the best skin of your life. You tend to not waste money on products um, and also you tend to educate your loved ones your family and friends around you to give them the best skin of their life too so being a doctor of the inky hacker is actually a type of person and uh, you will see these people in the comment section because it's our tribe it's um you know it's what we're all excited about right the other thing i tend to look for is to make sure not only is it spf 50 i don't i really don't like products that are less than spf 50 because even though it sounds like a minimal change it's actually uh, quite significant in terms of the percentage of UVB rays that are penetrating into the skin and damaging the skin. I also tend to go for PA four pluses, plus, 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 uh, plus, 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 yeah, four. <laughs> um, the reason is that UVA is what ages you. And guess what? When you talk about SPF 50 rating, that is only talking about UVB rays, the rays that burn you. It doesn't tell you anything about UVA rays, the rays that age you. Both rays can lead to cancer too. So that's essential, actually. You do want to have the highest rating of UVA protection too. Right, so that was quite a long introduction. <laughs> that sounds good to you. Give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. So what I basically did was I went to the Nykaa.com website and I filtered for um, SPF 50 and uh, for popularity in terms of what's given the highest rating. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm hoping that the popularity will tell me, give me some indication as to white cost. So with mineral sunscreens, the downside to that is that it can, many of them leave a white gray cast on the skin. And with skin of color, it's not ideal, you know, <laughs> no one wants to look gray or get that white flashback. 
um, it's just not it's just not ideal so um, so I'm hoping that helps with that but actually I was quite uh, disappointed if I'm honest with the sunscreens that are available because the vast majority of them I wouldn't recommend and I really had to pick through but I do actually want to tell you my thought process because in the future I may not be there to you know tell you about a specific product and I really want you to be empowered and have the education to figure out whether a product is good for you or not so I'm going to go through the most popular products because these are clearly being purchased uh, the most and I just want to take you through the journey with me so the first product was Lani Laniage I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a yellow bottle. <laughs> it's SPF 50 with PA with four pluses. So at, up to that point, I'm very happy with this product. However, it's not a NAFE safe sunscreen. So it basically has fragrance, which is the number one cause of contact dermatitis. Approximately three to 4% of the population get contact dermatitis because of fragrance. The problem with this is that the contact dermatitis might not happen immediately. It could happen after years of use. And you're thinking, hold on, I've been using that product for years. It can't be that product when it is. Uh, in addition, it's a co-sensitizer. So not only do you become sensitive to that ingredient, you become sensitive to all the other ingredients in that product, which you would not have been before. And so I would never recommend a product that isn't NAVE safe uh, for my skin of color family globally. So um, in addition, it is a chemical sunscreen, um, which isn't my favorite. So in my opinion, I would avoid this product sidestep. Right, moving on to the next one, which is Dermalogica. This is a solar defense booster SPF 50. Um, again, it's a chemical sunscreen. It's got avobenzone 3%, octinoxate 7.5%. Uh, again, it's not nave safe. I don't know why they have lavendula oil in it, um, which is an essential oil. Uh, they've got citrus peel extract. I wouldn't put these products, these ingredients onto your skin and then go out into UV where you're going to have free radicals damaging your skin. Um, it's not a good idea. I, I think they really need to reformulate this product. So I would avoid this particular product. The next one is Lacme, which is Sun Expert. Um, so it's only got three pluses, so it's not maximum UVA protection. I do want four pluses, uh, preferably. It's also a chemical sunscreen. Um, and the problem with this one is there is tons of fragrance in this product. Um, and the thing is, it can, all, it, it can be tricked as well because it doesn't, it might not say fragrance or perfume on it. It can use these words, linalool, um, hexal, cinnamol, citronellol, geraniol, lemonine, these are all fragrances and they're and I think it's a little bit misleading because it's difficult if you don't know that that's a fragrance you know you're not a cosmetic formulator I just think it just should be a little bit more transparent to say whether something's fragrance or fragrance free uh, so anyway in, in my opinion I would also avoid this product I feel like I'm going to get so many angry emails um, from major companies after this video. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it won't be the first time. <laughs> the next one you've asked me a lot about is Reequal. Um, so um, I like, first of all, that it's PA4 pluses, so maximum UVA protection and it's SPF 50, but it does have fragrance in it and it is a chemical sunscreen. Again, you know, if it was fragrance free um, and it had additional, you know, maybe antioxidants in it, I wouldn't be so concerned about it being a chemical sunscreen because it's more important to wear your SPF 50 than to worry about whether it being chemical or mineral sunscreen. We're just getting into the nitty gritty and the minutiae and I'm you know very particular about what I put on my skin and what I want you know my global skin or color family to put on their skin but ultimately if you like this product purchase this product because the risk of not wearing sunscreen is so much worse. You know, not only are you aging and, you know, getting wrinkles faster and you're getting hyperpigmentation, but UV leads to cancer. There's, you know, there's just no two ways about it. So, you know, if you like this product, buy it. But in my opinion, I would avoid this particular product. The other one you guys asked me a lot about is La Shield SPF 50 PA and then three pluses. Again, it doesn't have maximum UVA protection, but this one is fragrance free. Um, so actually, so far out of the products that I've seen, this is my favorite one so far. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is like one that I think I would be okay with you purchasing. The next one is Reequal Oxybenzoned, Oxybenzoned and 
OMC free sunscreen. This is SPF 50 with three pluses, so not maximum UVA protection, but decent. It's a good chemical sunscreen. It's got no fragrance in it, uh, no essential oils, no denatured alcohol. Um, so, it is, so it is NAFE safe, um, but it is a chemical sunscreen. It will enter the bloodstream. Um, and the PA is has a rating of three, not four. So it's a decent sunscreen. And actually, if you want, if you're looking for a chemical sunscreen and you prefer chemical sunscreen, I would recommend this one. The next one is Neutrogena Sheer Zinc. So my favorite one so far is this one because it is nave safe. So it's got no DNH alcohol, no fragrance, no essential oils in it. Um, and it has no chemical filters in it. It is a mineral sunscreen. The problem is it is super white. Let me see if I've got one for you so I can show it to you on my hand. Yeah, so I've got the sheer zinc. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So I put like a very small amount on my hand. Usually you are looking to put on about a quarter of a teaspoon. So, you know, I just went to get this for my daughter's bedroom and uh, she says to me, Mummy, Dr. Dre says you should wear mineral sunscreen and she really likes sheer zinc. So she puts it next to her bed, like ready to wear every morning. So Dr. Dre is another excellent YouTuber. I 100% recommend you follow her too. But I was like, Sienna, what do you mean? Like Dr. Dre said it. What about Dr. V? You know, like Mummy, <laughs> what about me? <laughs> It's so funny how your children don't listen to you, but other people's children listen to you. <laughs> so yeah, so you can see it's decent, but there is some flashback and it is quite white. Um, but it is honestly my favorite one um, right now on Nika. So this is a reason why I created Inzinkable. So I want to create the world's first mineral sunscreen SPF 50 that was invisible on skin of color. So this is what it looks like on. And I basically wanted it to not only be invisible on skin of color, but also uh, I create I put in Melashield. So Melashield is a, a stem cell technology, um, which is a UV stable tyrosinase inhibitor. So you can, it actually reduces the amount of pigmentation on the skin throughout the day. So we actually did a clinical study on 51 candidates of skin of color who wore their Melish, who wore Inzinkable. Um, SPF 50 uh, PA with four pluses um, and they wore it for a month and 73% saw a reduction in their pigmentation just from switching from whichever sunscreen they were on to Inzinkable. So that really was my goal is to make sure that not only was it no flashback and invisible but also help with the pigmentation because for us our number one concern is pigmentation whether it's after acne whether it's after from melasma um, or whether it's from ingrown hairs on men, um, pigmentation is our biggest concern. And actually not wearing sunscreen makes your pigmentation worse. So Inzinkable should also be out, um, also available globally from skincare by drv.com. Um, I am thinking about also putting it on Nika. It's just, it does take, there's an onboarding process and I just need to follow through and get that done. But um, yes, I would love to be able to serve my whole family in India because this is what I'm doing it for isn't it so it just makes me happy to be able to help if you found today's video helpful please can you write down the word yes below in the comment section I'm in the comment section for one hour of the launch of every single video don't forget to download your free guide for skincare for skin of color the link is down below and also I would I, I really enjoy making this video and I would love to do more uh specifically for India so today for example I'm filming a chemist a conscious conscious chemist um, I'm doing skin functional for Africa. I am doing, uh, you asked for earth rhythm, so I'm doing earth rhythm today as well. Um, I'm talking about glutathione today as well. I'm doing a Be Minimalist update. If you haven't watched my Be Minimalist video, I highly recommend you go and watch that, but this is the updated version. With the, They've got a lot of new products that have come out. Um, and today I've done sunscreen as well. So I think those are the main um, brands you guys have asked me for in India. But if there are other ones, can you just write them down below and I'll make sure I do it. The most important thing is that they have a full inky list. So, you know, that's basically the ingredients at the back. If they give me, you know, just their key ingredients and I don't really know what's in the product and I can't make you a meaningful video because they haven't disclosed the correct information. So I do need um, like the full ingredients list to make sure I'm doing a good job for you. If you enjoyed today, please give me a thumbs up. I thoroughly enjoyed making this. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you for the next video. Bye. By the way, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is at the High Pigmentation Clinic and Skincare by Dr. V. Um, yeah, thanks. Bye. <laughs>